Welcome. I'm sure some of you recognize my name from the Facebook groups that I'm in. I'm Rhonda Mobley, and I quickly learned that there are an awful lot of you that are very intimidated with Inkscape. So after spending hours upon hours on the phone, texting back and forth, trying to help people learn how to do something, I decided to start this video series. At the time, I wasn't able to do videos, but now I am. So I have been using Inkscape for about a year and a half to two years, and uh, there's more than one way to do something, or let me rephrase that. There's more than one way to do certain processes so you may see a video that shows you a completely different way and that's fine i'm sure i'll get to that process over time uh the first five or so videos are short and step by step and they're based on the questions that i see most in the facebook group like how do i put text on a circle um how do i make layers for a coloring book SVG and so on. I suggest that you start with number two, this being number one, and then move up from there because it's gonna help you get used to using these icons, which is gonna make your time in Inkscape faster, you're designing a lot faster. Also, I go over some of the keyboard shortcuts, and it might seem a little re repetitive, but that's just so you get used to knowing where those icons are to use that certain tool, okay? So if you can stand to listen to my asthmatic voice, then um, I'm going to help you learn Inkscape. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments, of course. and I would appreciate it if you'd spread the word about my series. When you see people asking questions about how to do this or how to do that, if you know that I have a video on it, just send them to YouTube and have them search my name. Um, that way more people will learn and eventually we'll be getting to see a lot more projects that are completed rather than questions on how do I put text in a circle 20 times a day, which is fine. I mean, everybody's new at some point in time, but like I said, I want people to learn how to use Inkscape. It's not that hard. I do all my designing in Inkscape, and then I take it to Cricut Design Space and just size it and cut it. And I don't have any issues of losing my project or something disappearing or anything like that because it's made in Inkscape and I save it as an SVG file to my computer before I even take it into my cutting program. So I love it. I think it's faster. I can do a lot more in Inkscape than I can do in Design Space. So I really hope you guys will take the time to watch the videos and learn how to do the processes, and maybe you'll be able to teach me something someday. So let's go learn Inkscape.